I'm gonna show you how to make three different danishes in your air fryer, a cherry, a blueberry, and a cream cheese. I've made the recipe a few times and they're great for at breakfast time or for dessert. If you like the video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, links for everything I'm using today are gonna be in the description below. I'm gonna start with the cherry pie filling and then go on to the blueberry. If you don't have time to make your own filling from scratch, you can go ahead and use a canned filling. I'm gonna be using the cherry and olive pitter to pit all my cherries. If you don't have this item, you can use like a plastic or a metal straw, or if you have another type of pitter, but I love this cherry pitter. So you have your insert for olives. I'm gonna need two cups of cherries for this. It does four cherries at a time. And once they're all done, it catches all the pits and you just toss them in the trash. So first you need two cups of pitted cherries. For this, we're gonna need two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, quarter cup of water, third of a cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Once you have that all in, you're gonna to wanna to put it on a medium heat. I like to use the mix and chop because then I can break up and mash the cherries as it's cooking. Once you get them all kind of mashed up and mixed together, you're gonna to wanna to wait till it comes to a boil and then you're gonna to drop to low heat and you're gonna to wanna to keep stirring it for five to 10 minutes until it thickens up. As you can see, mine's come to a light boil. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn it down to low. And then you're just gonna to wanna to keep stirring it, not constantly, but just so it doesn't scorch the bottom of your pan, you don't want it to burn. So now you're just letting it keep thickening up and then your cherries are cooking as well. Once your filling is nice and thick, turn off your heat. And you're gonna remove it from the heat. And we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of almond extract. Stir it in. Now, if you were just wanting cherry danishes, once this is done, you can go ahead and start making the danish part. You don't have to wait for it to cool or anything. It is a little hot to put it on top, but it doesn't have to be cool for it. But since I'm gonna make some blueberry, I'm gonna go ahead and move this one to the side. For the blueberry filling, we'll just be using frozen blueberries. One tablespoon of water one teaspoon of cornstarch, and you wanna mix that into the water. One teaspoon lemon juice, stir that in as well. Half a cup of sugar, and one and a half cups of frozen blueberries. Put those on medium heat, and you're gonna do the same with your mix and chop. Since they are frozen blueberries, it's gonna take a little bit for them to soften up, but at first I always just try to give it a little stir so that the sugar's not just sitting on the bottom of the pan. Once it comes to a boil, you're just gonna wanna keep stirring it. This is when your cornstarch is gonna start thickening up your either filling or if it's a topping for a cake or something. If it gets to a point where you need to make it thicker, which I think I'm gonna have to do, I will show you the best way to do it. So I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little bit to about medium low, and I'm actually gonna add some cornstarch to thicken it up a little more. So you can't just pour powder cornstarch into something that's boiling already. You'll end up with massive just clumps of cornstarch and they taste gross. So you need to make a cornstarch slurry, which is you need a little bit of water and some cornstarch. So I'm gonna do about a half a teaspoon of cornstarch, and then add a little bit of water. You wanna mix it in so there aren't any cornstarch clumps, and then you're gonna slowly pour it in while stirring. So now I'm gonna turn my heat back up to medium and keep stirring. And you can keep doing that until it reaches the thickness level that you want. So I still want it a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna do it one more time. So it's still a little thin, but I'm happy with that. So once this one cools down a little bit, it will thicken up more. So I'm gonna turn off my heat and set it to the side. Now for the cream cheese filling. Four ounces of room temperature cream cheese, so half the block. Quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon vanilla. I'm just gonna mix that together. For the crust part of your danish, you're gonna be using a crescent roll. I've actually bought the dough sheets. If you buy it where it's already cut in the triangles, that's okay, because we're gonna leave it in this rolled up form when we get it out and cut it into pieces. No, these things don't pop anymore. Like, I've never gotten one that wants to pop lately. So don't unroll it, just leave it like this. I'm gonna cut mine into nine, hopefully pretty close to even pieces. And now you're gonna to wanna to just press them out. I like to just, Use my fingers. And you kind of want to make it almost, I kind of tell myself to make like a nest because you're going to want to put your cream cheese and your filling in that little hole. And I put it directly on my tray. And I do five per tray. Now the next tray is only going to have what, four, but you can do five. So now you're going to add your cream cheese filling. If you like a lot of cream cheese, you can add a lot. If you don't, just add a little bit. I just use a spoon, put it on, 
and then kind of press it down so you have a little spot to put your filling in. Now I'll add some blueberry right in the middle. Add your cherry again right in the middle. And then we'll leave that one there. Cream cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and get these cookie and then prepare the other ones. You're gonna put them on the middle shelf. We're gonna select custom, six minutes, and drop the temp to 330. And at the halfway point, you don't have to do anything. To make your glaze for the top, half a cup powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and you're gonna need two to three tablespoons of milk. I'm gonna start with two and see what it looks like. Mix it up. If your powdered sugar looks like it's kind of clumpy, you're best if you can just grab a little whisk and whisk it. That'll help break it up. It's actually a little too thin. I'm gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar to thicken it up and then it'll be good. So this tray's all done, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the second tray in and then put these on a plate and put our glaze on top. I hope you guys like these as much as my family does. We love them for a quick dessert. Let me know your favorite type of Danish in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.